it guys welcome back to another m creator lore video so today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding a few different new blocks to the the mod itself so i wanted to add clay uh the clay item and uh the clay or the bricks for both large and uh, small we're also going to be adding a bunch of different um types of models as well for the like for stairs and for slabs and things like that for the stone variants for the bricks so also there's a lot of recipes that i did off camera uh that just saved a little bit of time uh right now what i'm working on is i'm setting up the clay um properties and just setting up some of the um sound effects i couldn't really figure out what the clay uses there wasn't an icon for clay so i just um quickly popped up Google here and checked out uh, Minecraft wiki for the uh, sound that Clay has. I didn't know if it was like a slime sound or if it was something like, I don't know, like dirt or something like that, but it turns out it's like the uh, default dirt sound, so um, needs to be on the dirt one and the properties I set as well to be the same as the vanilla clay. After that, what I did was I just set the um, map on color and some other properties, and then I could move on to generation. Uh, some of the generation things that I wanted to actually work on was to make it uh, replace stone. Um, later on, what I did was I made it replace uh, dirt and sand as well. So um, those are the things. But I basically kept the generation height and everything the same as the... Um, I believe it was dirt or no stone or something like that i can't remember what we were working with uh originally i think it was like sand or something so basically i just kept the same properties as that and it will generate clumps all all throughout the world and i uh, just wanted to make sure i don't think this is actually necessary actually but because i didn't specify grasses to be one but um at the time of recording, I was just like, oh, I should probably make sure that it doesn't replace grass. But it, the more that I think about it now, it actually doesn't really make sense to have it. So I'll probably end up deleting that um, off camera. Anyhow, uh, yeah, so basically what will happen is that will generate in the world. I did go back and I added it to gravel or not gravel, um, sand. So it generates in lakes and rivers and stuff as well as um the um dirt so it can go underneath grass and stuff so i just didn't want it to show on the grass that's the only reason that i have grass disabled all right so after i created the item i needed a recipe for it uh for basically crafting up the block itself so i'm just going to select uh, the same recipe as clay itself so eventually what i want to do is go back and add a whole bunch of tags to all these so it's cross mod compatible so mods can tap into these um but at the moment i'm just selecting the items i'll do that probably off camera so it's a little bit easier to do it's just a matter of making sure that all the blocks and items have uh, tags themselves and that the recipes point to those tags so just kind of like a tedious process uh, probably one not too interesting so i haven't really covered it just yet and there's actually quite a few recipes that we are lacking so i'll probably have to go back and do a bunch of stuff for that anyhow uh the next thing that i'm working on is just setting up the properties for dropping the um clay and uh, i wanted to make sure that all the other things are set up like the block name like clay block and stuff like that um other than that i don't think there was too much i just created a new folder and wanted to go ahead and grab or put that under here going to duplicate the stone variant and then what I'm going to do is upgrade or update these textures for the bricks so basically the brick texture this will be the brick block uh, we might end up reformatting the actual um, creative tab later on I haven't really touched it in a while so I want to maybe work on that a little bit and just organize things but i wanted to make sure that all these things the all these properties are set up so i've been basically just going around and 
getting the properties same similar to bricks so it makes sense what they are and all that stuff um, other than that this basically is already set up the way that we need it um, also uh, let me know if it's easier to see where the cursor is with that little highlight on the, the uh, cursor uh, I can enable that through my recording software, so I don't know if that's uh, easier to actually view where the mouse is and all that stuff, or um, if it's just getting in the way or not. I do. I, there should be right click and left click events still. I'm not sure. Yeah, there's. You can kind of see the right click and left click uh, events. I might need to make them a little bit more prominent colors. Anyhow, uh, let me know in the description uh, or in the comments that. If it, it's easier to follow the mouse and stuff like that. I'm just experimenting it with it this uh, video. Anyhow, uh, yeah, so basically I was just setting up the properties and um, creating the large block at this point. And then I think around, I think I went into some testing or something like that later on. Just to see what those blocks look like. I might do that next, I'm not sure. So I'm just organizing that. Um, can't remember what I did next, honestly. <laughs> uh, we went back to the clay, I know that much. Uh, I wouldn't mind adding terracotta or something similar to that, like making our own terracotta. Um, giving that we're all doing the clay and stuff like that, but I think that a thing that we'll work on next week will probably be working on, um, getting some of the soil properties set up, uh, for finishing that now that we have a clay item uh, that makes more sense now so going in game I just quickly test to see if there was anything generating in the water and I want to make sure that it generates in the lakes and stuff too right and I wasn't seeing anything oh actually yeah uh, this is after I was generating it I, I think I might have cut out that clip the first test so I did test um again and there was a bunch of clay generating and stuff like that in the, the the water and stuff which is perfect so not only can you find it in the water but you can find it um on in soil as well as just laying around in caves so uh, it's a good resource for uh generating and stuff like that now um the, the important thing about that is it's going to be really um critical for the crop growth um, for certain properties for some crops. So for example, if the crop does needs more moist ground, then you're going to need a little bit more clay. This is why I'm generating it more all over the place rather than just have it um, basically in the rivers and stuff like that. It's something that we will definitely have a higher demand for. So I might make it so it's a little bit closer to the surface. Uh, but uh, and I don't think I can really control too much uh, the generation location. I might be able to replace it with the dirt itself um, and just kind of mask that kind of area, but I'm not sure how it, or basically if it would be what I need, but we'll, we'll experiment with it a little bit later on. So these are the brick blocks, and at this point I was like basically going, okay, yeah, that's great. So I started working on a little house later on, and that's the clay texture just so it's a little bit easier to look at. It's a little bit noisy, but um, it also has very good detail to it as well. So you can kind of see that it has like a mixture of the like waves almost built into it, which is perfect. It gives a really good essence of the uh, clay being kind of like a almost like sand. We could even theoretically use this for sand as well. And if we mine it, it gives us four clay, which is exactly what you need to craft a clay block back up. So it's perfect. We can even use this inventory to craft them up as well. So we can craft all those up and place those down. And uh, yeah, so basically that's the next step that we need for doing that. I, I did work on uh, the stairs and stuff, I think possibly next. I'm not sure. No, I think I what I what I did next was I worked on basically building a house and then I went and started working on the stairs and stuff. That's right. So I worked on basically just duplicating the properties here and I just started adding all these uh I used the built-in model or built-in 
example thing, the uh, built-in uh, block model. And then I could basically go ahead and just set the properties for stairs and then slabs. And I believe I did walls for both bricks as well. And pressure plates, which Minecraft doesn't generally do for pressure plates, but um, I did do pressure plates. And then there was also buttons that I did as well. Uh, the buttons don't actually look too much different from each other, but it is what it is. Uh, it's just the, the way that the texture position is on the, um, the bricks themselves. So it kind of makes sense why it would not really look too much different because the center of the uh, texture is basically almost identical but uh yeah i was just basically setting up this either way uh you can create those bricks from using recipes and stuff like that it's pretty easy to set up all right so then i needed to do that for the small bricks as well so that's basically what i was doing here just setting up the properties and get it all ready for the recipes and stuff like that uh, when I was adding the recipes for the bricks and stuff like that like the brick not so much the bricks but like the uh, we can't do the recipe for the bricks just yet because we we actually I forgot to make a baked brick texture so we'll need to go back and make one later on but it's not that important at the moment. Uh, but uh, I did add recipes for stone cutting and for just general crafting as well. So it's possible to get all that stuff set up. So, And I also added buttons and stuff like that. So added the recipes and then you could basically just cut back in after I was finished sorting that all out because it was pretty tedious. But uh, the stairs, I uh, thought I would demonstrate the stairs up here. And there's also slabs. I really like this texture for the um, the actual uh, large bricks. They it, it very feels very modern, but almost like sandstone, but not quite. You know, it's just like it has some really good detail to it. And then I noticed that there were some issues with the um, the actual fences or the walls so I it took me a while to figure out what was going on here but there's actually a tag that you need to put them under in order to get them uh, set up so they connect and stuff like that because I noticed that they would connect to the um, regular brick fences like regular regular ones or not fences br regular brick walls but they wouldn't connect to each other so I thought there might have been a, like a either a material setting or something like that but it turns out you just need to add them to a tag uh, for the walls themselves and then they will connect so just a quick tip on that and these are the buttons um, I'll just place them down here and there's not too much of a difference uh, they basically look almost identical but um, one kind of has a cross section going up one has a minor cross section going down so it's not too much different but yeah, it's just something a little bit different to play around with. Um, I kind of like the look of them, honestly, because then they still match the the texture and everything, right? So you might be able to hide the button on that material still a little bit easier. And these are the brick stairs and brick slabs. So those look also really good. And these are the regular slabs as well so the large brick slabs so that's everything and I just needed to figure out the um, the connection issue with the fences or the walls pardon me so that's basically what I did next so in mcrater I had the genius idea of going through all the properties trying to figure out uh, what all the things were going on and see if I could set up the properties a little bit better uh, because it did say that sometimes the settings weren't properly if they're not at default they would um, be a little bit buggy so I tried to reset the properties as best as I could to see if that would help 
and I, I just changed the things that I would think that would make the most difference. I didn't change everything. And I did test again, but that wasn't the case um, of them working. So like right in here, I was playing around with materials and stuff. And um, I can guarantee you it has nothing to do with the materials or any of the settings. I actually had to go back and set them all up uh, the way that they were. But uh, I ended up going into um, the tags and I almost wondered if there was something that was in the tag list itself that there was something that I needed. And there was one called walls, so I just selected that and it should generate it. And um, just need to click add. I was just going over to see if there was any other tags that we might need for that and it doesn't look like there is so I had to go back to the main thing and then drag it into the tags group I did organize some of the tags and stuff around um, between when I was trying to figure this out because it was getting a little bit unorganized but um, yeah so basically I just selected the two walls that we had and then I saved that and then I went back in game and tested so in-game testing again, and I could see that they worked. Uh, they were working and connected to the walls and stuff like that. So everything was working as they should. I just wanted to test um, the large brick ones as well, just to make sure that they were working. So yeah, so they do work. And basically that's all that there is to it. Um, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.